Welcome back. You're watching uh, First Trades right here on ET. Now let's touch base uh, with the Wellspin Corp. Uh, we have Vipul uh, Mathur, who's MD and CEO of Wellspin Corp, joining us on the show to talk about their business, the recent auto win from the U.S. market, auto book status, and recovery in the oil and gas assets. Uh, Vipul, it's great to have you on the show. Congratulations. Two auto wins. Give us more details. Good morning, Aisha, and thank you very much. Uh, we have received two promising orders from the Americas market. One, one of them happens to be, which will be supplied out of India to a Latin American market, and the other order is will be produced and supplied to the U.S. market. Both these orders are, are extremely well timed, very very promising, and would be serviced in this financial year itself. Vipul, so tell me, what's the aggregate value of both these orders? So, both these orders, see if let's say our, our current order book, if you see, we are at uh, 1.64 million tons and with a consolidated order value of 11,400 rupees. These two orders put together would add something around almost 700 odd crore rupees put together. And what's the average realization uh, realization at which the two orders uh, have been booked? Has there been a material difference from the last order? Both of them, I can I say I can tell you they are very very promising, fairly remunerative orders, much better than what has been booked in the past. You what wouldn't be able to give us numbers, would you? Uh, we are working on, you know, it's a factor of uh, steel, logistics and all that. We are still in the process of working them out. I think so it would be a little too pre uh, premature to give absolute numbers around that. But however, we, I am sure we would share it in our subsequent interactions, please. Right, but could you at least help us uh, with the margin picture on those orders? Uh, how much do they cont contribute at the operating level? Uh, I'm sorry, come again? On the margin front, have you penciled in how much uh, uh, margin contribution comes in from these two orders? Are, is the margin contribution in line with your average margins or higher or below? They are, they are, uh, they, in one particular case they are in line with the, uh, you know, in line with the margins what we are following. In the other case they are, they are much better than that. Now, what is your average? The one which is going to be produced in service in America is hmm. is definitely having a. Okay, uh, so can I just understand how? What are your average margins to get a sense uh, of benchmarking? So they would, you know, this one particular order out of these two would at least have uh, seven eight percent higher margin than the average what we have what we have been maintaining till now. Okay, you know, Vipul, uh, considering USA so is America said, first. as I said, you know, this, you know. Yeah, please carry on. No, no, go ahead, please, sorry. No, please finish your point. No, I'm saying that, you know, uh, we are seeing, as, as you know, I'm, I'm sure you wanted to talk about the U.S. market as, and I just wanted to add a comment to that. The, the market is in the U.S. seems to be under resurgence. You know, it is, uh, uh, it, it is going and, and, and heading up in the absolutely right direction. We are seeing a very strong demand for oil, a very firm prices for oil. And, uh, you know, we are seeing a great volumes coming up from the American market. And now followed with the, followed with the demand, there are the margins also uh, going up. So this particular order is also reflective of that. Okay. You know, and I just wanted to know a little bit more about that. Given America's America First policy and tariff policies, which are currently underway with the Canadian counterparts and the rest of the world too, you've not faced any hindrance with regards to that so far? Or do you expect any hindrance going after or thereafter? So till now we haven't faced much of a hindrance okay. for sure. But uh, moving forward, I, uh, moving forward, if the way the demand is going to grow up in America, I think so. There could be some possibility of a disruption on the steel market side of it because from the capacity availability on the steel side of it, a shade lower than what their demands could be. 
So I am sure, you know, as the as the dust settles down, these factors will be addressed and things will be back on track. But as of now, we are completely, we are adequately covered. All the orders what we have are having a back to back steel supply. So we are completely insulated at this point of time. And having said that, we are booked for almost nine months of this financial year. It is just for one more quarter we have to do a booking. So right now we don't see much of a challenge around it, but uh, we will have to keep a very very close watch around the market. Yeah. and especially on the steel side of it right and so uh, you know just to wrap up uh, vipul because we completely out of time what kind of uh, order book position uh, do you hope to garner f you know for this year for fi 90 i know nine months i think you uh, you have clarity on the kind of order execution that you plan but you know adding for uh, the incremental orders that you'll be bidding for or you know uh, pitching uh, yourself for uh, what would the order book position look like So, you know, if we talk of all the three geographies, let's say America, we are booked for almost nine months. It's just about a quarter we have to book, which is the fourth quarter. Uh, you know, having said that, I don't think so. I don't see any challenge around that with the opportunities which are currently emerging into that particular market. I don't think so. It 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 is going to be any great challenge. The issue would be that how to maximize the margins. I think so. That is where the focus would be. Coming back to the Saudi market, as you know, we already have an order book of almost uh, close to a million tons at this point of time. So that you know, the capacities there are completely booked for uh, at least two years, if not more. And uh, so we do not see any great issue in the. Now it's only an execution part of it, which we will have to focus on. India market, if you look at it, we have uh, we have an almost an order book of almost 400,000 tons at this point of time, which will be produced and serviced out of India. And Importantly, this market is also looking very, very promising from an oil and gas perspective and, and also from a water perspective. So there are significant volumes which are under discussions at this point of time and uh, I am very, very confident that uh, uh, these assets will also will see a very, very higher capacity utilization. Okay, Mr. Mathur, good luck for that and thanks so much for taking the time and chatting with us today.